The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Good morning, and welcome to the Broncos Broadcasting Network. I'm Elias. And I'm Zane. Here are the stories for today's broadcast. We look back at the seniors who made BBN a part of their high school career. And we have information on one of our clubs that was founded this year. BBN News begins now. Today is Thursday, May 23rd. If today is your birthday, you were born on Lucky Penny Day, share a birthday jewel, and on this date in history, the horror classic, The Shining, was released in theaters. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Just a reminder, we'll be following a straight seven schedule for the rest of the school year. The sophomore and junior class awards will take place on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. in the Performing Arts Center and will be by invitation only. Invitations are going out to students today. Attention students who failed a core academic class during the 2023-24 school year. Summer school is coming up and will be offered at DHS. Classes will be from June 5th until the 27th, between 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. Your summer school forms are due by tomorrow. For more information, please see Ms. Gambrell Mercado or Ms. Heaven. Over the last few years, some of our graduating seniors helped bring you entertainment and news here on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. From the daily broadcast to Broncos Sports to Orco Studios. The students left behind a legacy that will live on. Samaya spoke with some of those students. I'm Samaya with the BB News, and today we're talking to seven periods ITV seniors. I've been in Team Production for three years. I started my sophomore year, which is when the school first opened, and I'm a senior now, so I've stuck it through all the way. In TV Production, we work on making videos for our daily newscast. So our, at our level, that's what we do. At level three, we work on newscasts. Our level four is they work on their I think weekly shows, which is something I won't, I would look forward to, but I won't be here next year to see that. And then aside from that, we learn skills like running a camera, running a teleprompter, um, editing skills for photos, videos, stuff like that. Um, I'm in my third year of TV production. Um, basically, we just go out and film news for the school, like school events and stuff. Um, I'm really gonna miss the freedom that we have in the class, and Mr. Shigaris is an awesome teacher, so. Um, I recommend this class a lot. I'm in TV production three. I help with the creation of the Broncos Broadcasting Network. And the thing I'm going to miss the most about um, TV production is the um, kind of like the environment that we've been in. Like it's a small class, but like you, you get to know people and that's what I'm going to miss the most. I'm in Mr. Shigaris's TV and production three classroom. And my role in his classroom is to be one of the many editors that we have in the room. And normally what I do as an editor is take a bunch of the clips that we take from shooting all the people that we need to interview or getting all the B-roll that we need and putting it into the specific videos that you could actually find on the Broncos Broadcasting Network. Uh, those videos usually take quite a while to make. Sometimes they'll take between a week to about a week and a half. Sometimes we can't get even enough uh, footage, so it'll take us roughly around two weeks. But most of the time, I'm usually in the classroom working on putting the video together and making sure that the video is good enough for you guys to see out there. Hi, I'm Sam. I've been with TV production for two years. I've been an anchor. I've also done packages for the news. The one thing I definitely will miss is the groups, being able to work with everyone, getting to know everyone on a different level than what I have previously, and just getting to know the different events happening at the school and the different teachers here. Um, this year I'm in TV production four, and I, I've done it for two years in middle school as well. There was more creatively focused, and here it's more informative, but this year I get to do creative projects too, and I like it that way. I'm in TV production four. Um, what I do in that class is obviously I do Orca Studios with Evan, where we you know do that TV show every Friday at 7 p.m. on the Orca Studios YouTube channel or on the BBN. And what I'm gonna miss about the class is probably all the friendships that I've made over the last couple of years. It's really been cool to see how different people film and just the different methods people use to make packages and how they be successful in the class. I'm Samaya with the BBN News. 
Today's ACT word of the day is urge, meaning to encourage or persuade. Ashley urged Josh to apply to Harvard. Laptop collection days are going on this week. Freshmen are turning in their devices during their ELA classes today and tomorrow. There will be a makeup collection day on Tuesday with an absolute last day to turn in equipment on Wednesday. After this date, fees will be added to obligations. On to Bronco Sports. Attention athletes, Davenport High School will offer free sports physicals on Friday, May 31st at 9 a.m. Register today by scanning the QR code on the screen. The Freshman Academy is hosting its annual Staff vs. Students Pinball Tournament tomorrow. This event is only open for the Freshman Academy. It will cost $10 to play, and to be eligible, you must have not served out any out-of-school suspension during the second semester, and all of your obligations must be up to date. Please see Ms. Hoke with any questions. The following are the times and dates for summer conditioning. Girls Volleyball Conditioning every Tuesday and Thursday from 4.30 until 5.30. Cheerleading tryouts will occur from June 3rd until June 6th. If you have any questions, please see Coach Key. Boys Basketball. Your summer league game schedule has been announced with games beginning on June 3rd and running through June 26th. If you have any questions, please see Coach Jones for information about any of the games or camps. Football will be having their summer workouts Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until noon. Please see Coach George with any questions. Baseball is tentatively having summer workouts on Tuesday and Thursday morning. Please see Coach Stevens. Girls flag football will have their summer workouts from 8 until 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays beginning on June 11th. Swimming will have land conditioning in late July and water conditioning in early August. If you are interested, please see Coach Hoke or Coach Napier. Boys and girls wrestling will have summer practices every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 5.30 p.m. until 8. This year saw a number of new clubs pop up on campus, one of which was the French Club. Amari spoke to some of our students about why they joined. Hi, I'm Amari Walters, and today I'm going to be interviewing some students about French Club. Um, I really like the culture, of fr the French culture. I really like the foods that they have, and I just want to be introduced to all these different types of new interactions and people that also like to enjoy French culture. French Club, we, we try new foods. We like, on the holidays of French Club, like a uh, bouche de Noël is kind of like Christmas, but for French people, we ate like a cake, that's like for French people, and yeah, that's the type of stuff we do. Um, the food, I really like the food. We ate crepes, we ate like cheese and like sparkling water, it's like all French, and you know, all the food is very delicious. Um, so once I found out that there was a club for like people who want to learn more about French um, people and like francophone countries, which is where people usually speak French, I was like, oh snap, really? Because I speak French. So I really wanted to join just to meet other people who had the same interests as me. In French Club, we learn about different francophone countries. We don't just study France, but we also study places where people do speak French or were colonized by the French. And we also learn about cultural differences, and truly, we participate in accepting others' cultures. Mr. Maldonado, he's my favorite teacher. He is such a fun educator, and he understands how to get like children involved in the things that we do in the club and at school in general. This has been Amari with BBN News. Thank you for joining us today for Broncos News. I'm Elias. And I'm Zane. Enjoy the rest of your day, Broncos.